There you go. So you use your gym card to spread your butt. Actually, that's gone better than a knife. I might use that in the future. I might tell the wife to get some some cards or something, as long as it's not my credit card. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that squeaking noise in the back of the van. It's chocker with stuff at the minute where I've taken stuff from sites that we've uh, finished. And um, the squeaking is just driving me crazy. So I, I look forward to clearing out the van soon. I'm just uh, pulling up into this car park and avoiding the ice. It's really, really cold at the minute. Uh, I've had to put the heating on at home at um, night or turn it up. And I don't usually like doing that because it costs an arm and a leg, but i um, got two young kids, so yeah, I can't let them freeze. But I'm looking into um, installing um, a, a heating control system that I can use my um, mobile phone to control remotely. Um, I haven't got one currently. I've just got like a normal um, Honeywell stat that you just turn a dial up. So we just put it on 20 or 21 or whatever. Any recommendations, by all means, put in the comments below. One thing I will say though, Wi-Fi is really, really bad in my house. I'll wire something if I can, but it kind of depends um, what sort of involved because also like in my house I've got bloody tiles everywhere it, like, it was like that before I moved in so yeah any recommend recommendations uh, let me know by all means so what have I been up to oh my god this period um, th this year is flying by already it is absolutely crazy and um, I've been so so busy but what I absolutely love about the electrical industry is the variety of work I can be doing completely polar opposite things within one week so for example this week one day I'm carrying out surveys to take over fire alarm systems of a client who has multiple properties some have issues some are, you know have, have never had an issue in god knows how long which I usually say if that's the case it's either been stalled really really well or it doesn't work so yeah, been looking at that. Um, handed over electrical project where we upgraded and replaced um, a load of electrical distribution boards and equipment in electrical cupboards because they're all being fireboarded and kitted out, and we've had to sort of assist and move things and stuff like that. And yesterday, I was assisting, and I was with my colleague um, Scott. We was installing the brand new Kentec Tactis panel. So um, I've got a video of that coming up soon. And um, we turn up to site and the client said they want the panel relocated. And we was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean you want it relocated? But actually it's not too bad. It's a little bit more work. It's only moving over sort of two foot, but they want to put a TV screen where it currently is in this like little lobby. We've had a little bit of additional work. So it's turned into more than a one day job. So we weren't able to get it off the old system off and commission but that's not a problem because it because it's relocating we can we've mounted a new one we had a bit of a play with it and stuff like that and um, i'll be posting a video on that soon so keep out a lookout for that oh and one thing that um we was just about to leave it was like last knockings and it was already a bit of a late day anyway and then the caretaker come around and he said um i hear this beeping in the kitchen is it anything to do with you guys so i was like um doubt it but we'll go have a look so yeah went and had a look and basically it's a ups for a fire shutter for like um to separate the kitchen and the the seating area yeah so that's beeping so got the martindale out and tested some of the sockets in the area and it's all dead and there's a guy working in the oven i was like have you um have you done anything has anything tripped how long has this been doing this and he said oh it's um been doing it i plugged my my equipment in and it was working fine absolutely fine but yeah that beeping started going off about an hour ago and i was like is there anything you could have done that may have may have tripped that turns out have a look at this There's our problem. <laughs> so it turns out there's this sort of manhole, if you like. It's not really a manhole for waste. It's it's um it's like a ducting that goes underneath. He's literally just pulled it open a little bit and thrown loads of water down, and it's all like gone inside the um, MICC join. So. Yeah, we had that, and also um, we noticed that uh, this wasn't him. The Copex is also damaged.
But we got heat gun on the old um, MICC join just to sort of try it out. Um, we tested it out. Insulation resistance was acceptable. It's not brilliant, but it's acceptable. It's absolutely fine. But we've recommended to the customer that that leg is replaced anyway, because I can just see that sort of thing happening again, the way it's been wired. So we've we've got it back on. So we've we disconnected the the uh, cabling that's all sort of dodgy there. Um, and they're just going to have to make make do without and that's not a problem we just put a temporary lead in we're doing a lot of fireboarding work so we've been assisting with a main contractor we have kind of got a strip out in, in a room that they need fireboarding um to provide one hour protection or half an hour protection or whatever in the event of a fire we basically have to rip everything off the walls and then they fireboard the walls and we have to remount everything so sometimes that means relocating stuff sometimes as part of the project we're upgrading boards to because um, some of them are in the right old state like one of them for example had something like it needed rcd protection and because it was an obsolete board what they'd done was they just added loads of um little enclosures rcd enclosures and they're just like dotted about everywhere so we've obviously ripped them out and we've put rcbo's in and it's been quite a nice job and we've got um, more work off the back of it as well so yeah, that's what that's what it's about it's about keeping your clients happy um de delivering the projects in the way that they should be and yeah you, you know you get more work you get repeat work it's, it's sort of great it works for everybody right I've got to go um, look at this job now, so I will be back in a minute. Oh, that one didn't take too long, that was quite a quick one, so I'll quote that later on and uh, see if we get that job. What I like to do, I mean, as you guys know, of you who follow me on LinkedIn and you, you watch my videos, my role is management as such. But I do like to get hands on. I like to get hands on to keep in, in touch with the reality, as I like to call it. And and also, I, I just enjoy it. So I don't mind doing the odd call out. I like to get involved with, with commissioning. Like, like, for example, the tactics that we're installing. Um, because I manage and I price work, I like to know how it's installed to, to know issues we might come up against, um, challenges that we need to sort of get over and provide solutions for. So I like to keep in touch with, with the reality side. One thing I do is a quality control check of my guys because I don't see them every day and I've got a team of guys who work underneath me. I have certain procedures in place to make sure they're doing their jobs correctly. So for example, I turned up the other day to a site where we're carrying out um, some works. He's actually fireboarding again. And I walk into the, the building and I see this. So obviously there's a fuse board there with the cover off. And I'm thinking, oh my God, is that live? I hope to God it's not. It shouldn't be because members of public could come in there. They could put their hands in a fuse board. Incredibly dangerous. I get my testers out and I haven't seen my electrician yet. He's he's like in another room somewhere. So obviously he shouldn't leave that live. So what I do is I get my testers. I test it. He's dead. Thank God. And obviously, you know, it should be. So that's great. So then I, I go and look for where it's fed from. I know it's fed from in this electrical cupboard and the electrical cupboard is locked. So I can't get in there. So that's locked off. So I actually find my electrician. He's surprised to see me because I've turned up unannounced. And um, I say to him, where's the electrical cupboard key? Pulls it out of his back pocket. Brownie points. There we go. That's what you should be doing. I open up the electrical cupboard because I'm looking to make sure that he hasn't just used the electrical cupboard because obviously someone might have a key for the electrical cupboard. I open up the door and he's got his lock off kit. So he's safely isolated the circuit. In addition, he's locked the electrical cupboard and it's all good. So I kind of do that thing. And then we have a toolbox talk about, about safe isolation, about what he's been getting up to, making sure he's got the right, right equipment and tools. And then basically I'll record it back at the office that we've, we've had that sort of, uh, yeah, that toolbox talk for sort of quality control. And I do that occasionally. I might turn up to um, Alistair Servicing, for example, and... I'll ask him a few questions about how he does this, how he does that, just to make sure that he's doing his part correctly, because ultimately I'm responsible for that, but I can't be on site every single day. Now, what we also do is I'll get the guys to take photos. Obviously, they'll tell you uh, that it drives them nuts, that I'm always telling them to send me photos, and then we've got a central system that I upload the photos, and it and it's almost like an audit trail of work we've done before and afters, uh, and also it keeps me um, informed with what's on site. So if a client calls up and says, "Look, we need this quoting," ah, I've got a photo because I know the fuse board mm -hmm. because you know it's a Memshield two, Memshield three, di very different costs by the way. Memshield one also makes a massive difference. So you know it sort of um, it works for our procedures. It's very good. Talking of Alistair and dropping in at a visit, I I done that the other day. He was uh, testing a school servicing the fire alarm at a school um pretty pretty large school so we do four visits a year i noticed this while we was on site
Now, this is actually a builder who's doing some work in the toilets. The, the CPC is hanging on by a thread, I think like a couple of uh, cores or strands. Yeah, it was just holding, obviously that's potentially dangerous for what he was doing. It was also outside um, the extension lead that he was using. So I sort of said, um, excuse me, and by the way, your your lead is damaged. We you need to turn it off, and it needs to be repaired. And he sort of shrugged it off, like, oh yeah. yeah. And I sort of explained the dangers why, and he kind of like he probably obviously realised, oh god, this guy's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. So I even offered to um, rewire it for him and sort of repair it. Obviously, I'd do it for hundred quid. Now I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I don't work for that little. But yeah, it's just things like that when I'm on site. It's just, you know, making people aware of, you know, people might think, oh, God, you're being a jobs worth. But at the end of the day, that could potentially save his life if there was an incident. So, you know, I think it's quite important. And recently, I've been involved with a couple of companies regarding fire alarm systems and electrical systems in tower blocks. And it's all to do with fire safety. I mean, I'm not a fire risk assessor. I know bits about fire safety. I'm looking to do some courses this year to increase my knowledge because I think it's really important. Um, but I've been working with uh, risk assessors and other organisations to come up with really practical solutions, um, but also can be maintained. And, you know, no, these things don't need to be ridiculously expensive. Then they're, they're not cheap, but they don't have to be high cost all the time. So it's about coming up with that sort of middle ground and that sensible option. Yeah, if anybody wants to get in touch with stuff like that, if you're looking for somebody um, to, for advice, by all means, get, get in touch. Um, I'm going to have a bit of lunch now. Now, when I'm out and about, I mean, I usually take packed lunches. I'm vegan, so I usually take my packed lunch with me um, because on the go, sometimes it can be a bit of a pain in the ass. but I get caught short sometimes. So quite often I keep like just a, a tin of beans in a van or something like that and, and some sort of bread rolls. Just, I mean, I don't like particularly eating that for lunch because um, I like to eat something a bit more healthy, but you know, it gets me by and, and quite a lot of stuff that I'm doing, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, but um, I'm gonna have a bit of lunch. And I've just realized that I don't, ha I haven't got a knife <laughs> or fork. So I'm gonna have to come up with something with the beans. Um, oh, for God's sake, I'm really hungry as well. I'm going to use my gym card as a knife. Got some butter. There we go. There you go. So you use your gym card to spread your butter. Actually, that's gone better than a knife. I might use that in the future. I might tell the wife to get some some cards or something, as long as it's not my credit card. So I'm going to leave you be now. I'm going to shoot off. I've got a few other places to go to. Um, thanks so much for watching my videos. Um, I've now hit over a thousand subscribers and it's been, you know, I really appreciate anybody who takes the time to watch my videos and gets in touch with me. I really enjoy making these. And if there's videos that you particularly like um, the style of, or the ones that you like me making, um, by all means, uh, put in the comments below which ones you like and, and the ones that you want me to sort of make more of. Because I know I do sort of a variety of different types of things like this where I'm just sort of chatting about what I'm doing. I do stuff that I'm doing on site and also products I'm sort of exploring. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Um, you can hit the button in a minute when it pops up on the screen. I'll see you on the next one.